welcome to the Natural History Museum at the Gray Fossil Site. The site was discovered about seven years ago, just in the year 2000, and already we have this wonderful state-of-the-art museum to enjoy. When visitors first arrived, they walked into a theater where a, a seven-minute film will trace the discovery of the Gray Fossil Site. Once you're finished with the video, you walk into the permanent exhibit space and you hear sounds behind me of all these animals and gnashing and falling into water and growling at each other. And it's purely a, an enjoyable and um, experience that appeals to all the senses. All the animals that you see in the murals, that you see uh, in the exhibit itself, were found here. Sometimes uh, the entire skeleton, sometimes bits and pieces, but all animals are represented. Well, you've turned the corner now and you've left the Miocene period, that's four and a half to seven million years ago, and you've come back into modern day Tennessee. You have very dark sediments at the bottom and lighter sediments on top. Dig box, and this is synthetic material that's made up to represent the, uh, the fossil site sediments outside. And so, uh, kids and adults, for that matter, can try their hand at excavating like a real paleontologist. This is our laboratory, and this is a laboratory much like the professional lab that we have upstairs. Except this one is for the use of our visitors. Use the brush to clean the dirt off. And the magnifying glass may reveal helpful patterns. And then you take the touch the brush and it appears and you have to begin cleaning. Touch the video player to hear from an expert. This is our preparation laboratory, and once the fossils leave the excavation pit outside, they're brought in here to be uh, cleaned, to be perhaps glued together if they're in pieces, uh, some sort of work to uh, preserve the fossils so that they won't deteriorate. No one can hide here because they're always uh, being observed by other people. Yeah, and it is nice to be right here uh, in the past, if I jacketed a pelvis like this, or maybe a skull, I would have to put it in a, um, the back of my truck and drive all the way to campus. And you know, you always have that unnerving trip of, boy, I hope I don't get in an accident. Or now we can walk just a, a few hundred feet and right into the building. When they open up a jacket like this, they can set it right next to the glass and so people can look right in and see exactly what we're doing. We will be changing these exhibits very frequently over the next few years to, so the visitors to the museum always know what we've found. 